Hey everyone. Hey, 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 it's your girl, Hennifer Bianca Gantz, founder of Career Image Solutions and Kingdom HR. I have been studying the book of Luke and I wanted to share something that really stuck out to me that I think will really encourage career professionals around the world. So um, just bear with me for a few minutes um, so I can bring it home. So in Luke 5, let me just kind of set the stage here. Um, there was Simon Peter who was, um, he, he was, uh, you know, fishing, right? Um, he was a fisherman and um, him and his partners were, um, were, were out by, by their boats. Jesus came along. He was teaching after he was teaching. He's like, hey, listen, Simon Peter, why don't you go out a little bit, go out into the deep um, and cast your nets? And Simon Peter's like, wait a minute. Listen, Jesus, I've been doing this all day. I don't know what you think you're going to be coming in here doing, but I've been doing this all day. We didn't catch much, right? You know, but if you think that we're going to catch something, I'll do it just because you say so. Needless to say, when Jesus was uh, included in the mix, not only did they catch something, but it was so much. They did not have room enough to receive. In fact, both boats um, ended up almost sinking, right? Um, so then you mosey on down to verse 10, and this is uh, Luke 5. And in verse 10, it says, and so also were James and John and the son, sons of Zebedee. So they were also with Simon Peter, who were partners with Simon. And Jesus said to Simon, do not be afraid. From now on, you will catch men. Then verse 11 says, so when they had brought their boats to land, they forsook all and followed him. There was something about the fact that Simon Peter allowed Jesus to be in the mix. I actually did a video on this already about the fact when you add Jesus to what might seem like the mundane or what uh, you would consider to be um, tasks that you got under control, right? Um, it's amazing that what happens when we add Jesus to the mix, that our um, our plenty turns into abundance. Um, but beyond that, what was so interesting, is, again, is that Simon Peter's profession, he was a fisherman. That's what he did, right? And um, he's a, he was a businessman, right? And Jesus came along and literally this one act, this one miracle really showed Simon Peter that what he had been doing for throughout his, his, his life, I don't know how long he was a fisherman for, right? But what he was doing as a profession at that time prepared him for that very moment. Because Jesus said, do not be afraid. From now on, you will catch men. And in other versions, it says, from now on, you will fish for people or you will be fishers of men in other versions. So it made me start to think, about all of the previous experiences that I had that allowed me to be where I am today. And I career coach a whole lot. And you all know, if you don't know, um, that's one of the things that our company does is that we encourage career professionals to do, we empower rather in career professionals to go to the next level um, in their careers and help them figure out what they want to do and what the next step needs to be. And many times people feel like, man, I can't go into this next career field because I don't have the experience or, you know, there's so much I, there's so much I want to do, but I feel like I can't do it. So I'm here to encourage you today to not despise the moments that you said yes to, especially as it relates to, to your career. Because like Simon Peter, he was a fisherman, but he ended up fishing for men, right? Who knew that the that the commonality, right, and the and the, the functions of being a fisherman would lead to him being one of the the most re, re, <laughs> the, the most powerful, just man, the most talk, one of the most talked about um, apostles within the Bible, right? Who knew? At that point, I bet you he didn't know. 
But what I will tell you is that I guarantee you that what he had been building, his career, what he had been doing, led him to that moment. So I don't care whether or not you are in HR, you are a cashier, you are a janitor. Know that when you add Jesus to the mix, because he cares about your career, when you add Jesus to the mix, all of what you've done before can be used, come on, can be used to where, not just where you are now, but where you're going to end up being. And I guarantee you that all things are going to work together for your good. So I just want to encourage you to not take your job for granted because it can lead you to your work. I'm going to say that again. Don't take your job for granted because it can lead you to your work. Your job is different from your work. Your work is what you're called to do, what you're supposed to do. And we know that that's what he was called to do. We know if you, if you, if you just keep reading, we know that that's what Simon Peter was called to do. But his job at that moment, right, was to be, was to be a fisherman, actually fishing out of the water. But he didn't take that for granted. So again, that's my message for you all today. Do not take your job for granted because it will lead you to your work. As Jesus told Simon Peter, you will be fishers of men. So whatever it is that you're fishing right now in your nine to five, keep holding on, keep the faith, keep persisting, show up in excellence just because you might not like something or just because you had a bad day like Simon Peter, you know, don't burn your bridges. You just never know what's calling for you on the other side, especially when you add Jesus. So when he starts calling you, make sure you answer. You never know. You never know. All right, everyone. Until next time, don't forget to command your day.